name is Samantha and today we're going to be in the kitchen. So since we'll be using some tools in the kitchen, I recommend that you grab an adult to supervise you while you perform this experiment. So for today's experiment, we're going to be making an acid or base indicator, also known as a pH indicator. So a pH indicator is basically just a fancy term for something that shows you whether something is acidic like lemon juice or vinegar or whether something is basic like baking soda or other types of soaps. Moving on to the materials needed for this experiment, the main star of the show is a red cabbage. Next, you'll need a bunch of glasses or cups. A strainer or sieve is also needed. Then we'll need some baking soda and lemon juice. And finally, you need to grab yourself a blender. Okay, so what you're gonna do is take your cabbage and peel away the outside layers of leaves so that you can get to the bright purpley red core. And then once that's done, peel off a few of those bright purple leaves and put them in your blender. And add some water to the blender just to enough so that you have enough liquid for your experiment maybe a few cups of water and then blend away so after you're done blending up your cabbage next what you're going to do is take your sieve or your strainer and then take your now blended solution and strain your solution out into your cup and we're going to start with three glasses here and fill those up about halfway. You can do a little less if you don't have enough liquid. And that'll be the starting point of our indicator. So for this experiment, the cabbage juice is our pH indicator. Now what makes this cabbage juice so special is that it contains a pigment or a special kind of coloring in it called anthocyanin that allows it to react to an acid or base and change color depending on which one it is. So I'm gonna start off with adding a few drops of my lemon concentrate or lemon juice into the cabbage juice or our pH indicator. You can also just use real lemons and squeeze the lemon juice out of them for that. And as you can see, as I drop lemon juice into the purple dark solution, it turns from this like darkish purple to a super light bright pink, indicating that we have an acidic solution here. And then next up, we're going to add our baking soda to one of the cups containing the cabbage juice or our pH indicator. Hold on, let me go grab a spoon. And then I'm just gonna slowly add some baking soda and stir it in there. And it might be a little hard to see, but the solution does go from a purplish color to a more subdued darkish blue, greenish color. So now you can see we have a very basic color range to indicate our pH range or our acid to base range. Now it's time to test out a few other items lying around the house to see if they're acidic or if they're basic. So starting out with some dishwashing liquid, we can see that after adding some drizzles of soap into the solution, um, there isn't a super apparent color change. Uh, it, it only becomes a little darker than the current dark purple that you see. Um, which indicates that this dishwashing liquid is only slightly basic. It's not as basic as our baking soda, so it, it doesn't quite turn that blue-green color we're hoping for. So for the final thing we're going to test out, I got some laundry detergent solution that you see in this cup here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of the solution the cabbage juice to it and as you can see as the cabbage juice is added to it it starts to turn this sort of blue greeny kind of color so let me just illuminate uh, all the solutions for you so it's a little easier to see the color difference between all four of them so comparing the 
neutral cabbage juice here. That's just purple. The laundry detergent is a much greener solution, indicating that it's basic. So I reorganized all the solutions that we tried today. And from left to right, you can see that it goes from a light pink to purple to a blue and gr then green. So now I challenge you to find other items around your house and using your cabbage juice, let me know what you find to be acidic or basic. Anyway, I hope that you guys all have a ton of fun with this experiment and make sure to test as many things as possible all around your house and let me know in the comments below uh, what you found to be basic and what you found to be acidic. Uh, remember to like this video if you had a lot of fun with it and remember to subscribe to the channel to make sure that you can get some cool new experiments every week.